Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here with DIY E65, E66.com, and tonight's project we're going to be working on, I have a loud fan, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just kicked on, and I have a very loud fan. So let me show you exactly what's happening, and let's go ahead and go on into the project here. Also, guys, in the video, it's going to get to a point where the engine cover is on and then the engine cover is off where the fan is. And if you want to know precisely, just to keep this video a little bit shorter, if you want to know precisely how to take off the engine cover and get to the part where you're actually able to look down and see the fan um, and the belts and whatnot, then please watch my thermostat video. I explain step by step how to get to that process, how to take off all the bolts, remove the engine cover, uh, the boxes, etc. So please watch that and enjoy the film. So as you can see right now, the fan is full blast. Very, very loud the auxiliary fan, so I need to fix that. So this is very, very loud. As you can see, it kind of slowly started up, but now is very, very loud. So let's turn that off. And then it winds down there, as you can see. Okay, so I'm still trying to diagnose the problem here. I replaced the thermostat, but I actually unplugged the fan over here to the left. See this switch right here? It has two tabs on it. I pulled it straight up. I'm not going to leave it off for too long, but uh, now my fan isn't full blast, so it's going to be either a bad relay, um, might be a module, might be the fan itself. I'm still trying to diagnose it. Now when I plugged it back in, the fan is full blast again. There it is. The fan's going full blast. That's after I put in a new thermostat. My water pump is looking good, so I'm not sure if that might be the problem either guys for my constant loud fan I went ahead and bought a brand new sensor here um, and I'm hoping that will uh, go ahead and uh, fix that and this again is the um, coolant temperature sensor and that again is located right down here right where my finger is pointing to right right there and again I have another video um, showing you if you have a leak it is the uh, the O-ring on the end of it, but uh, for this video, this is going to be for the constant loud fan. I've already replaced the thermostat. I'm going to put in a brand new sensor. If it's not that, my water pump looks good, so it's either after this, if it doesn't fix it, it's either the water pump going bad on me or a bad fan. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and replace that there. And again, I show you in my other video, uh, the O-ring video of that. Um, you just grab a little tab like that, pop it up, and then just slip this one straight down. Alright guys, still diagnosing the problem here, but we're um, looking a little bit better here. So, um, got the loud fan. I've ordered up, uh, of course as you already know, I've put in a brand new thermostat, which has a sensor here, which comes on the new thermostat. Put that in already. Now I'm looking at, uh, I bought a um, water pump sensor, the one right here. I know my water pump is good. I got no wiggle on the pulley here. I got no cracks down over there. The water pump looks good. Um, there's no um, signs of coolant leakage there. Again, I got no wiggle there, which means the bearing is still good. Um, as you can tell here, let me show you here. So there's no there's no major wiggle. It doesn't it doesn't wiggle at all. So that's good there. And so. It turns out that um, probably my sensor down here at the bottom on the lower radiator hose, I'm going to replace that. That controls the fan. And uh, I had a coolant leak coming out of that sensor area, the O-ring, that went faulty. 
and so I'm just going to put in a new hose and a new sensor as well. There was uh, some corrosion, so I'm just going to put in a new hose as well. So this should probably take care of it. I'm going to put in the new, the new sensor right there where my finger is. And that one uh, I broke pulling out, but that's okay. I'm going to put in the new sensor and then just double it. I'm going to put in the new water pump sensor just in case that one's broken. And so that should do it. So if you are experiencing a loud fan, check your water pump, see if that's broken. Uh, if you're going to do the water pump, do the thermostat at the same time. Um, might be the sensor, um, or again, it might be that sensor, or it could just be a bad fan. That's the reason why it's full blast like that constantly, because it thinks your engine is overheating, so it's trying to compensate that. All right, stay tuned, guys. And the reason why I bought this sensor too here is that just save another trip back to the um, the store or waiting for it in the mail. And uh, again, so I'm just going to put them both in at the same time. And the reason also is because when I remove that, uh, the sensor here, there's going to be some coolant coming out. Well, now the coolant's already drained right there, so I might as well put both sensors in at the same time. And this one right here, you just push in that little metal piece there, backs out, and then I believe this is looks like about a 22, uh, 22, 23 mil, but I'll double check on that. All right, I got my new lower hose there. There's the part number there, and this is the part number for the 2006 E65. All right, guys, I'm putting back on the hose there. You're going to see right where my thumb is, the little metal notch there, and then right on the plastic piece, it just slips right in just slips right in there and then you shove it all the way on that line right there on the uh, the metal notch and if you are doing the job and you have the uh, extra money for a new uh, lower hose definitely get it this was a breeze to uh, put on and uh, I also got a new sensor as you know there a breeze to put on down there all right guys I'm gonna be putting in the new sensor here down on my lower hose and again watch my other videos explaining um, why I'm using a new one um, because I had some a lot of corrosion but uh, anyway it's notched at the top there as you can see it's rounded and then there's a little notch on the top the bottom is round and the top is notched right there where my finger is so you just wanna put it right in there and it'll click into place okay we put it in again right where my thumb is there's the notch let's go ahead and push down on it and you heard a little pop just where the um, these little side things to take it out you would push these in and then just make sure it's locked in there and you don't have to put too much pressure on it just put pop it on in with your thumb the o-ring will secure it it's gonna be nice and flush down here so we're looking good okay that's it and don't forget to put back your sensor cover this way here with the metal part facing that way pops into place okay all right hey guys um, I didn't have a deep socket or a wrench I'm guessing it's probably upwards in the 22 23 size um, but I did have I found in my garage I had a uh, 7 eighths so 7 eighths is able to do it and it wasn't on there too tight so it fit real nice and snug and then now I'm just taking it off here and this is what that looks like and that is coated in blue and so that might be an issue or it might just be dyed from all the coolant but let me show you what a new one looks like here and unfortunately I had to go with BMW genuine and the reason I say unfortunate is because I have to pay more and I have to go over to the dealer and get it but this is the package I got from the dealership here. Now let's look at the new one. Okay, here's the old one here. And, okay, so it doesn't look too good there. This one looks nice and shiny compared to that one. Take a look at that. This is the new one on the right, BMW Genuine. And again, remember when you take off the old one there, remember the uh, the washer. And the washer is sitting right there. i got to remove that. Alrighty, got the washer off of the water house sensor there. Now I'm just going to take a uh, clean rag and uh, wipe it up. Always hand thread it on 
first to make sure it's threading on right. Okay, so that's about hand tight in there. And not to, don't overdo it on the plastic piece there. Now let's grab our wrench and tighten that up just nice. You know, not over tight, just a nice, uh, decent hand tight. And a good way to tell how tight you want to get it is just get it back to um, the original position it was in, which is all the way around straight. So I just need to go a little bit more than that. This is after hand tight, of course. And so I'm just going to come around. Okay, so my loud fan has stopped. And now I need to put the car all back together. But it, it turned out it's either, now again, it's a dual option. I'm not sure if it was the water pump sensor. You saw how blue and weird look, looking that was. Or if it was my bad sensor on my lower radiator hose. But the problem has stopped, which means it's not the bad fan. And because there was no wobble, no squirts of the gasket on the water pump, it was not the water pump. I'm eventually going to do that, but it was not it. The problem is fixed. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. This is... This is something now I can get back to work. As you know, uh, I depend upon my car for my uh, livelihood. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Got a lot more good videos on the way. Take care. Bye-bye.